My friends, the integral of e to the negative x squared is super easy if you know about the gamma function. If you don't, I've evaluated this integral in many other ways, so you can check those out. But if you do know what the gamma function is, it's really quick and easy. So first thing we're going to do is get this into the forms of looking like the gamma function. So we'll let u equal to x squared, then take the derivative, du equals 2x dx. And if we substitute that in, this is what we have. So x squared is u. And if we solve for dx, dx equals du divided by 2x, so that's what we have here. And now x is equal to the square root of u, so we can substitute that in to give us this expression right here. This 1 half came out, and rather than saying u to the 1 half in the denominator, we said u to the negative 1 half right here. Now, my friends, this looks just like the gamma function. The gamma function is used in physics and engineering, and it generalizes the factorial function and is used for complex and real numbers. But anyways, this is it in all its glory. <laughs> and the gamma function, when z equals 1 half, this is exactly equal to the integral that we're trying to solve. If z is 1 half, we get negative 1 half here in the exponent, which is what we want. And a well-known result from the gamma function is that the gamma function of 1 half is root pi. So that literally is our answer, our integral in all its glory, root pi over 2. You know, there's many, many other methods of evaluating this integral. You should definitely check those out. It's a lot of fun. This is a hard integral to do, but believe it or not, there's like tons of different ways to evaluate it. Hang in there. Integrals are not easy, but you can survive. Cheers.